how to follow up in network marketing. I polled my audience on Facebook not too long ago and I said, what pain are you struggling with? As I often do every week, I usually try to ask what pain you're going through to see if I can help solve it. I like to be a problem solver. And I got a lot of response saying, hey Coach T, I just really don't know how to follow up in my business. So of course in this video, I wanted to give you some training. A couple of months ago, I made training videos on how to follow up and what posture meant in network marketing. So if you haven't checked those out, I'll put a card right here and you can do that. Hey, it's your girl Coach T. Taryn, like Karen, but with a T spelled just a little differently for those of you who don't know me. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. We are almost at monetization. It may hit today. Today is the 27th, I believe, so I think we're gonna hit it today. We're short, we're, we're 71 hours, that's all that's needed. So please help me out, subscribe to my channel if you've been getting value from me, and also don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Let's get this video to 100 likes. So let's get into the content. So again, like I said, this comes from polling my audience as I recommend you doing it as well to see what problems your followers are having and how you can help them. And how to follow up is something that is huge. Fortune's in the follow up, fortune's in the follow up, fortune is in the follow up. If you are not following up with your prospects, don't expect to make money. Majority of sales are gonna come after the fifth contact. The first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, but the fifth. I want you to stop for a second and I want you to think about the opportunity that you've joined or the product that you've bought, right? And I want you to think about the very first time you were presented that product or you was presented that opportunity. Did you sign up immediately? If you say yes, you're only the 10% that does. And that's totally cool. At some point in time, we'll all be 10% that buys on the first time. But if you didn't say yes, how long did it take you before you actually made a decision? Was it a yes or was it a no? Did that person have to continue following up with you? Or did that person present information to you and never follow up? And you kind of were wondering like, well, what happened? I was, I'm kind of, I was ready. I just needed some more time, right? So majority of sales don't come on the first time. Ask yourself what you choose to be. Do you choose to be a professional or do you choose to be an amateur? Whichever one you choose, I will support you 100%. I want to be a professional and I want to help you be a professional. And professionals follow up. Amateurs, psh, forget about it. There's no need to follow up. But if you want to be a professional, if you want to impact the lives of other people, if you want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to follow up. So why don't some people follow up when it's fortunes in the follow up? <laughs> why don't you follow up? Well, a lot of people don't want to be pushy and I can respect that because when I first started in sales, I didn't want to be pushy either. I remember when I was 16 years old, my first, line, my first job was Finish Line Shoe Store. I was so excited, so excited. And when I got there, it wasn't a matter of just selling shoes. We had to upsell. Upselling me, not just the shoes are going to sell itself. We had to show cleaner, socks, bags, sunglasses, shirts whatever, shoestrings, anything, accessories, we had to upsell. And I remember the first transaction and my boss had mentioned, you know, upsell. And I let the first transaction go and I didn't upsell. I just got them the shoes. I was an order taker. I was an amateur at 16. And so I was just, an, I just took the order. And then I said, you know what? I thought to myself at 16 and I said, T, if you want to make a difference, if you want to have success in this job, you're going to have to get over yourself and ask for the sale. So if you're fearful to be pushy, I get it. What if I give you some tips and strategies that allow you to not be pushy? What if I give you some tips and strategies that engage your people to respond back to you? And what if I give you some tips and strategies that help you close that sale to have that person join your opportunity or help you close that sale so that that person can have the product or service that you're providing? Would that be a value to you? So what's another reason why people don't follow up? They forget. I am so guilty of telling someone that I would follow up with them and completely dropping the ball on it, completely. And there's a way you have to redirect to get that trust back when you do that. So if you are forgetful like me, if you watch my Facebook Live videos, I forget my train of thought all the time. I have to set reminder after reminder, alarm after, after alarm to follow up with this person. Because again, fortune's in the follow up. I've got to follow up if I wanna make money. So reason number three why people do not follow up they simply don't know how. And I'm gonna solve that problem for you in this video, which is gonna help you woosa, you know, relax a little bit and feel more confident in how you're approaching individuals when they are open to wanting information about your opportunity. Because again, remember, 
80% of sales are going to happen after the fifth contact. So why should you follow up? Well, people are busy. People are busy. You may have had to pause this video or stop this video because something else more important came up and that's okay. I give my followers or my prospects, my clients, I give them an excuse every time they might not respond back to me. And that excuse usually is that they are busy. I make it so bad to where I say, oh, well, maybe they had a baby that fell off the couch and they had to go to the emergency room. Or I say, well, maybe they got really, really sick, you know, or I don't know, maybe the sky fell at their house. I don't know. I just, I, to keep myself in motion of following up and understanding that it is, you have to keep doing it. I just give them an excuse because I understand that people are busy. If you've ever tried to reach out to me on Facebook or any other social media platform, there's a high probability I didn't get back with you right away. I'm just busy. So other people are as well. Second reason why you should follow up. People need to hear from you those five to seven times before they make a decision. Again, think about the opportunity that you've joined. Think about the car that you drive. Think about the house that you bought. Think of any big purchase that you've made. Does someone have to continue to follow up with you about it? And if they didn't, did you purchase? I remember my mom wanted to get invisible fence for her dog. And she asked for information, got a quote. No one followed up with her. And it was like a $1,200 fence. She would have bought it, but nobody followed up with her. So you're leaving money on the table, which is another reason why you should follow up. Leaving money on the table. So again, fortunes in the follow up. You can be an amateur. You could be a professional. I will support you in either decision that you make. So let's talk about how to follow up with people at this point. Okay, we've talked about real reasons why people don't and reasons why you should follow up. Now, let me give you those action steps to help you start following up. Would that be helpful to you? Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so what you can do to follow up is use automated messages. You can set up email marketing campaigns such as GetResponse, Aweber, and set up pre-made emails to follow up with your prospects. But you have to capture their information beforehand, such as a name, number, or email address to be able to do that. Okay, so a lot of affiliate marketers will use email marketing um, or network marketers can use it as well. Or what you can do is just old school it and follow up manually. I love automation. I believe that systems are the solution, but I don't believe that it's necessary for you to have a solution if you're not seriously, and I mean overwhelmed with leads. You should have leads coming in minute by minute by minute, depending on if you're an affiliate marketer. Now, if you're a network marketer, it may decrease, but still, uh, leads are the survival to your business, so more is always better than none, correct? So what's another way that you can follow up with your leads? Like I said, manually, manually. You could call them, you could use Facebook Messenger, text them. Um, you could always stay relevant in their face, such as creating content. This is a form of follow-up. YouTube is a form of follow-up that I can use for my clients and my the people that I coach, staying relevant, you know, giving you content on the daily is another way to just stay on, stay in people's mind. And something else that you can do to follow up, if you are a network marketer, is what you can do is invite them to see another presentation, invite them to a training, invite them to speak with your upline, and that is a form of follow up as well. Now, if you want to keep it simple, if you're the plug and play type of person like I am, okay, if you want to expedite the process, kind of like, you know, just kind of by step the learning curve just a tad, then reach out to me on Facebook. I have several follow-up scripts for you that I use, that my team uses, and we're killing it right now. We get so many more responses, and it's gonna give you the confidence that you need to just follow up, follow up, follow up, ching! Okay, so please make sure that you follow, with, follow up with me on Facebook. The link will be in the description box below if you would like the document of the follow-up strategy. Okay, this is only for the professionals. If you're an amateur, don't even, it's not gonna be worth the time, right? And I will support you again in any decision that you make. So I hope that this was valuable to you. If it was, I ask that you give this video a like. We wanna get it to 100 likes. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notification each and every time that I upload. My next video will probably be a celebration of Taryn Like Karen channel hitting monetization. Oh, it's me, a girl, Coach T. Taryn Like Karen, but with a T spelled just a little differently for those of you who don't know me. Please make sure you're working on all your goals, all your dreams, and live a life with a purpose because that is the only thing that matters. Peace.